Alrighty, everybody, this is our next game. Alex Ryder Stormbreaker the game. Yes, it, it, it's quite a game. <laughs> yes, I on Frodo. I am so excited for this. I saw this movie in the cinemas and I remember nothing except for when they say, This. Now, see here, 007, this is a Nintendo DS. You can use it for espionage and also to play Mario Kart. Yeah, some people would remember the book of this, and some people would remember the movie of this. Um, this is actually based off the movie, um, but they try to make it as accurate to the book. You're gonna see some stuff. Um, anyway, so obviously we didn't hit any sort of crazy... Was there any other donations? Did, was there a random $500 donation that we missed? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there were no $500 donations. There's no... Alex Ryder Stormbreaker super fans here coming to simp for their boy. <laughs> That's fine. So yeah, I already have it on normal mode, so um Okay, we're gonna start the timer after saying um yes to this um next prompt here. Okay, so three, two, one and go. So welcome to Alex Ryder. Um, I didn't press the pause button, thank goodness. I have a habit of doing that. <laughs> so we don't play as Alex Ryder at first, we actually play as Ian Ryder, who is his uncle and um, guardian basically. And he's a secret agent, well surprise. <laughs> and he's actually played by Ewan McGregor in the movie. So, I mean, Jedi mind powers would be useful, right? Oh, I'm glad it's not right. spotting you and McGregor. <laughs> so, the, the game. This is like the main um, part of gameplay. So what we so we use the um, R button to sprint, and this also uh, uh, depletes our com uh, our um, uh, fighting prowess as well. So, <laughs> I, it yeah. Dark Souls gauge. Yeah, kind of. But um, yeah, so this game you might have noticed has tank controls. So each time I stop to turn around, I get uh, my some of the gauge replenishes, and that's really helpful. Uh, hopefully, I got no. I didn't get extra speed there, unfortunately. So you have a chance when you collect the power up to get extra speed, and that's what we really want out of these power ups. All right. So this is our first dude that we're gonna fight. Uh, uh, by the way, the main bad guy is called Sail. Uh, we'll find out who he is soon. You'll be quite surprised who he's portrayed by <laughs> in the is movie. Is it Sean Bean? No. Oh. Unfortunately. It's not Trevelyan. But it's by um, someone. Okay, this guy guarded a bit, so that's a bit annoying. So, yeah, that tutorial mission mentions the, the caution gauge. So when you get spotted, the caution gauge in the corner. Now, if that feels to 100%, you immediately lose the, the mission and go back to the last checkpoint, which is really dumb. <laughs> like, even though the guy has like probably lost you, like, fail. Because he spotted you and the caution gauge still goes up. But depending on how many guards see you, it goes up faster. Anyway, so he's got important information and he hopes to return back alive to uh, MI6, MI6 and um, yeah, <laughs> save Britain. Uh, we have a $50 donation from Green Lightning. $1 for each of Aspect's Pokemon. Wonderful seeing the inferior Let's Go speedrun getting some love. Send this money towards naming Worcester's trainer name, Ugu Ugu. <laughs> that is a, a lot of, that is a lot of canon. Shoutouts to Ayu. So here's the first mini game. Uh, this is going to be a bit loud, but we're on the mobile now. We're escaping um, sales. Um, mansion I suppose but it's suddenly daytime I don't know how that happens so yeah this is like a huge auto scroller where we go to one side in one section and we just kick the guys off the motorbikes <laughs> yo road rash so yeah these are uh, motorbike guys they can be a bit silly sometimes they hit the barriers and they just move back and forth, they didn't really do anything much. I'll ask if there's any more donations, but you just read donations, so we're just gonna sit here and, like, watch this guy go back and forth. 
I mean, you said it was Ewan McGregor who plays the uncle, but like, in game it looks here like some sort of combination of Christopher Eccleston and Elijah Wood to me. <laughs> well, this is a DS, so you can't expect a, you know, one-to-one. -one. I have no idea how they got Mario 64 running on this thing. <laughs> Ooh, look at that sign. Brutal. Yeah, if uh, one of the guys bumps into it, it's like really nice. I don't have to kick them off their bike. I don't know, typical British council not picking up their knocked over road signs. Yeah. Probably not even picking up the bins properly. Oh yeah, and also I move when um, move between when the area appears, so yeah. I'm not gonna get hit by anything, by the way. I just know the patterns. <laughs> what an idiot! Oh wow! I'm sorry, are those wartime hedgehogs? My goodness me! <laughs> Don't make them like they used to. Look how that bounced off. Yeah, I'm not sure what um, era of Britain we're in, but. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of love in here. I know, this is that Dunkirk spirit they talk about. Alright, and that's the first mini game. So the next mini game. Oh, sorry. The next part of the game. So, unfortunately, after that um, encounter, um, Ian dies. And um, Alex attends his funeral, but he's kind of suspicious about the circumstances of how he died. He's told that his uncle was in an accident. But, um, yeah, he's just a bit suspicious, and he finds out that, um, his, uncle, his uncle's car is in the, um, uh, order wreckers. So, Alex goes and investigates. I'm also going to switch the screen quickly, the bottom screen, the touch screen, to, um, have, um, it on Alex's legs. So I have that information. Gotta make sure Alex isn't skipping on his leg days. <laughs> exactly. So once again, oh, so I got a kick blow up thing. So my kick's gonna be a bit more powerful for upcoming enemy. So we get, yeah, so once again, we get spotted. Okay, can I wait for you? Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, cool. I got the speed up. So your speed increases to 150%. It doesn't stack, unfortunately. It would be nice if it would stack, but... Happen. So you have three different combat buttons. You have a kick, a punch, and a block. And we're primarily using kicks because they have a bigger um, hurt box. And they also um, stay out for longer than punches. I had to manage this gauge carefully. So I'm going to try and avoid this guy. I don't want to fight him. Even though, um, yeah, uh, he's kind of aggro on me. The caution gauge um, disappears. Oh, got lucky. Wait for him because he blocks. Oh. That kick was aimed incorrectly. So I'm also collecting experience, yes, this is like also an RPG as well. So Alex actually levels up. He's gonna level up after this fight, in fact. Right. Man, he's definitely been playing Eddie Gordo in Tekken. Look yep. at these spins. I might be able to avoid this next person. No, I can't, okay. Um, in serious ones, I probably want to avoid that person, but for this person, I can bait them. So, if I hold the B button, that also... Oh, come on, let me through. <laughs> Alright. So, if I collect that power-up there, it's going to run out by the end of the cutscene, so I don't bother collecting the power-up. Because the power-up um, timer still goes on um, in the in-game cutscenes. Which is really silly. Anyway, we found... um. Uncle Ian's car, and it turns out uh, it wasn't in an accident. Uh, he was actually shot. So, 
and then um, the guy in charge of the all the wreckers uh, comes along and wants to beat us up. Yes, he wants to beat up a 14 year old. Anyway, so this strat is really funny. It's basically infinite if I get correctly. Uh, ah, I use too much stamina, so I'm puffed out until I get hit again, or the stamina gauge refills. Now, as you may notice, that um, every time I level up, the stamina gauge uh, in um, becomes um, sorry increases. So that means that <laughs> that means that I it'll take longer for to replenish. Anyway, so this mid game is actually really difficult. Um, especially on hard mode, but I'm not playing this on hard mode, fortunately. But I can still fail this on normal mode quite easily. So if you go in front of him, you instantly fail the mini game. If you, um, if that caution gauge fills up, which is the exclamation mark, you also instantly fail. There's just a lot of fail conditions in this game. And also if he gets too far away from you, you also instantly lose. And also, if you're wondering who that is, that is Jimmy Carr. Oh, Jim will fix it. <laughs> uh, he's actually a comedian. But he's put in this, like, cute role where he he's just being followed by Alex in order to find um, MI6. Alright. Hopefully I don't get bodied here. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, so yeah, if it got too far away, I would have failed. I can't see him. <laughs> oh. oh my god, that was scary! Oh, oh well. <laughs> Oops, I peeked the mic. <laughs> but yeah, that's what happens. And I had to start the mini game over again. So I'll try to um, not fill up the gauge too much this time around. I still want to fill it up a bit because it makes him move faster. But probably not as much. Well, we do have a $50 donation from Aspect. $1 for each of my Pokemon. It was great to show off one of my favorite runs. Good luck to the rest of the runners. Put this towards the Jack and Daxter glitch exhibition. Yes, we still need a good four hundred dollars for that. So, yeah. Go to donate.ozspeedruns.com. I feel like this level is also in an American Tale, the PlayStation Two game. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yeah, that game. That game's also a work of art. Oh yeah, if you bump into people, by the way, you get like stunned for like a good while as well. So you really don't want to bump into people as well. <laughs> Got spotted. Yeah, that is Jimmy Carr up, John. Okay, cool. We got past that mini game second try. At least we got past it like second try. Oh wow, I got a new record. Congrats. Hey. <laughs> anyway, so Alex enters the photo booth, finds MI6, and they recognize they realize that he's related to Ian Ryder, and they. They pull him on an assignment, and then he has to go through basic training. So, he's now kind of a MI6 agent, but he's going through training right now. Oh. Okay. Oh, I got lucky. Nice. I got a speed up. Alright. Wow. Wow, he just phased through me. I don't think I've seen that happen before. Alright. Oh, so if I timed that correctly, I would be able to surprise attack him and like 
automatically kill him with three hits. So unfortunately I didn't do that. Okay. We're gonna go in that room later, but for now we're gonna move up a little bit. Okay. Didn't stealth that guy unfortunately. So we approach this console and apparently we can't get out of here yet. We need a um, card key and everything. So yeah, we're gonna find this card key, which happens to be, um, which happens to be near a console. It's complicated, but we'll get there. <laughs> but basically we have to go to the other console that we ran past earlier and wow, I got lucky here too with the extra speed boost. Alright, so car key's here, but I'm five experience off my next level and I actually want to fight this guy. Hopefully I surprise him so I can get a... No, I didn't surprise him. So there's a reason why we want to beat up that guy. Um, especially when we're close to the level up right here. Uh, I'll get to it soon though. So, wait. I'll go to this console <laughs> and then i get out of here. Nice typing, Alex. So now we're outside and so immediately we're going to go back because we get like a free level up and it just helps a lot with um, stamina and everything. We won't be getting another level up uh, anytime soon after this one. So do these levels carry over between stages? Yes they do. A... Oh nice. Yeah. Ah! Hopefully slipped. he maxes out and gets to prestige his levels. Uh, we won't max out levels here. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I got a counter. Oh no, I, <laughs> I ran out of breath. Uh, ran out of stamina, so... Yep. <laughs> Had to wait for that. I'm gonna evade this guy. I'm, I'm not interested, no. Oh yeah, so that um, exit is a bit finicky. So we're showing off the rest of the level here. And we'll see what I get. I got, I didn't get lucky. So hopefully I can think past this guy. I did, nice. There's a guy on my there was a guy on my left and yeah, he did not see me. So I didn't need to fight him. I will need to fight this guy though. Yeah trying to rat out fights is uh, pretty important for this game to go fast. Alright be a guy around this corner so I'm just gonna finish my stamina quickly. It's been unfortunate that I haven't got any um, surprises yet. So I would be running all the way around here but I'd rather you um, the tank controls to replenish my uh, stamina. I'm just going to quickly get this little bottle of experience here and then just end the level here. Now. 
Uh, next little mini game here is we're going to run a flying fox. Uh, uh, we can change the camera angles to some pretty unfavorable rock ones, uh, rather than the normal camera. But you have so many, you have so much invincibility frames here. It's kind of ridiculous. Like I could just phase through these branches uh, when I'm do in that animation. Oh man, this is the most licensed game level I've seen in years. <laughs> Remember, this is how you become a secret agent. Now see here 007, here is the special MI6 playground. They do call him Cub. Do jump off the swings at their maximum height in one piece. Oh, we actually are going to jump off this actually. <laughs> But we're not going to do what the game intends us to do. Is there a hacky sack competition next? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. So we're going to jump off immediately instead of um, jumping in the middle of the target. You still complete the mini game, and the game does not care. I got a new record. Amazing. Dang, I <laughs> didn't get speed up there. Oh well. Anyway, so this guy is apparently our drill sergeant, guy in charge. And, um, for some reason the dialogue goes slow here. I'm not doing this, this is the game. <laughs> and then, yeah. We're gonna fight him. Uh, he's like Guy from Street Fighter. He's gonna do like a, um, Hold on, yeah, that saw the kick. Whoa, okay. You're the flash kick. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we've done our secret uh, agent training. And now we've infiltrated uh, Darius Sale's uh, mansion uh, as a prize winner. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so as a prize winner to test out the Stormbreaker computers. Uh, hence the title of the game uh, slash movie. And uh, so Darius is the main villain and he's uh, played by um, an Oscar winner, um, Mickey Rock. And yes, he's won an Oscar before this movie came out. So kind of funny. I'm trying to remember which one it was that he won the Oscar for. He was nominated for The Wrestler, but I don't think he won that one. Also, Alex just got shot, but he's fine. But yeah, uh, I think he... I think it was like a wrestling movie? A wrestler, I think? I can't remember. Yeah, I feel I feel like that was a BAFTA award, not, a, not an Oscar. Uh, let me check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he won an Oscar, though. Awards. Also, I did completely incorrect routing here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the BAFTA that he actually that he won it for? He was nominated for the wrestler. That movie's very good, by the way. Probably my favorite Darren Aronofsky film. Oh no, I'm talking seriously about a movie. <laughs> no. I need Not to check if I movie. collected the other bug. Oh yeah, I did. Oh okay, yeah, my routing was completely off. That's fine. Just double checking. Uh, and also the guy, um, his henchman next to him in the other cutscene, uh, is played by, um, um, Andy Serkis. Might know him as Gollum. They got a lot of really good actors in this movie. <laughs> I mean, Andy Circles will do anything if you pay him like 10 bucks to pull a funny face. That guy rules. Alright. Oh, did you see that movie he made, he directed about his, like, starring his kid? 
No, I haven't. <laughs> that like sounds a, amazing. It's like a King Arthur Isekai movie. Now that movie rules. Oh, what's it called? So I'm just going to ignore these enemies here. I don't need to fight them. Oh, I got to speed up, so it's going to make things nice and simple. Ah, yes. The Kid Who Would Be King. Movie that's way better than it has any right to be. <laughs> Definitely got some Stormbreaker the movie energy, though. Alright, so I managed to escape those guys, and I'm going to get spotted soon by um, the other henchman who... I don't really know much of. She, she's just, she's just there. Anyway, so uh, we we pull back and we ask to um, wait for dinner with um, Sale because in every Alex Rider book, of course, we have to have de dinner with the villain. And um, we're playing snooker, we're playing ten minutes of snooker. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. <laughs> so. The thing about this mini game, oh, white ball. <laughs> yeah. So the thing about this mini game is that um, you can't even like stop and relax for ten minutes. The timer will actually stop after a minute of waiting. So you actually have to do something. And um, the only way you can complete this mini game before um, the ten minutes are up is that um, is that you actually complete the mini game, which is almost impossible to do. Considering you have to have the AI cooperate with you and everything. But yeah, it's just like 10 minutes of me playing snooker with the main bad guy while we're waiting for dinner and Andy Circus is making dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that is the plot right now. <laughs> Give us that fish roar and wriggling. Uh, yes, don't forget, donate.ozspeedruns.com. We are raising money for Beyond Blue, a oh, charity wow, that's impressive. Sorry. for mental health support. Yeah, these fouls. No, he, he got oh. one in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is a good pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's also a um, invisible crowd that happens to be watching us, even though there's only just Sale, Alex, and... Um, uh, and um, Andy Circus. I think his name is Mr. Grin, but yeah. Remember, this is a movie for children. Do not take the clip of Good Pot out of context, anybody. <laughs> oh, this rules. I miss when this is what licensed video games were. <laughs> Yeah, the dev team's probably working on a on a snooker game. Yeah, you can put that in. <laughs> yeah, I think um, THQ. So, oh boy. Yeah, <laughs> they did a lot. That name in years. Yeah, license games and all that stuff. Brits are making a new kid spy movie. I'm gonna come back in. I told you I'm retired. I'm done. I'm never making a license game again. <laughs> Actually, funny enough, you mentioned that there's actually a, a new Alex Rider series that's on um, Amazon, and it's actually good. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, it starts from point blank though. I, I, I don't blame them from starting from that because um, this movie wasn't very well received. I taught us so much about Mario Kart. Kind of sad that we didn't have like a scene in the movie where it's just him and Mickey Rook just like complaining about snakers and Mario Kart DS. <laughs> just oh, you're picking that Yoshi egg, that Poltergust 4000? Ah, that's not skill. What do you mean you only want to play on Yoshi's Fall or Figure 8? Yeah, but there was like a bunch of other like stars in this movie too. There's like um, um, God, Alicia Silverstone. She was like Batgirl in the Batman '90s movies, mm. <laughs> which is really funny. <laughs> She's like um, Alex's babysitter. Turned guardian because his uncle died. So 
Oh, I can get this one in. Let's see. Robbie Coltrane? Yeah, he's oh, Hagrid. Man. Yeah, he's the Prime Minister in this movie. Oh, man, that would have been like him doing a Gordon Brown impression. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Yeah, Stephen Fry was Smithers. That's that's the Q type, right? Yes. Yeah, Stephen yeah, Fry is Q. <laughs> oh wow, I can't believe we got that. Yeah, in. Stephen Fry. Of course, that's why I remember. Stephen Fry is the man who's all. He is a Nintendo DS. Uh, this is a capture card. So I am playing through a capture card on my 3DS. So do you, do you need to win this game of snooker or just run no. the clock down? I I just need to wind the clock down or try to get as many uh, of the pots in as I can or the balls in. The problem is when you try to get the balls in, like you can't get multiples at a time, or you can't like get the colored ones permanently in until you get rid of all the red balls. So it's yeah, it's it's pretty. Like, that's why it's like near impossible to actually win this before the time runs out. I, I can see someone winning this in hard mode, but yeah, the AI has to be super cooperative. Uh, if, you, if he does sink a, sink a ball in now, he gets more points, so that's like the only reason why you would try and sink a, a ball in, but I don't care about points. And if you do sink a ball and that's not supposed to be sunk in, uh, the ball just pops back on the field. Which... Sorry, back on the table. Uh, I can get this in if I can line it up. Okay. Ooh. Nope. I was hoping that ball would bounce, but it didn't work out. Right. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> Completely missed. <laughs> I feel like I mentioned this last run, but getting some real vi some real good vibes thinking about the tool assisted run of Wii Bowling. Check oh, that out. My. <laughs> Yeah, hard mode AI I would go for harder shots and make this a bit more possible to win, but I've never won this before the time runs out. Maybe someone will someday and save like multiple minutes, but it's very unlikely. <laughs> Maybe it unlocks the true secret final boss, a rematch in Snooker. Oh, that'd be crazy. Yeah, you unlock the true last boss and it's like, say, it's like, it's like an arcade game, true last boss, so suddenly there's just like 50 bullets flying at you while you're trying to play snooker. <laughs> Does this giant killer bee really wants to play some pool? Oh, tragic shot. Yeah. I could try to sink. During my record, Considering what I'm doing, it's yeah, <laughs> not likely. Now, now, if you're just tuning in, this is ASM Australian Speedrun Marathon. We are going through games quickly to raise money for Beyond Blue, a charity that specializes in support and awareness for mental health. To donate, you can go to donate.ozspeedruns.com. That's a u s speedruns.com, and you can check out the website as well. We've had a redesign, and there's lots of interesting stats comparing how this year has gone to previous ones. We are at five point eight thousand dollars already. You better sink this one in. Better, yeah. Alright, there's one more red ball to go, and obviously getting the last red ball in is probably the hardest. <laughs> I can't even do anything here. Get to line up. Yeah, the AI is really playing to actually snooker you here. This is real rude. 
Okay, so I think you, you want to get the yellow bowl in next. Yeah, yellow. So I can only hit yellow only at the moment. <laughs> what is this game? Alex Rides a Snooky Hero. No, I, I, th I think that's more like uh, an existential question. Like, <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> Alex Ryder, Stormbreaker, the movie, the game, based on the novel. <laughs> Alright, only 20 seconds to go. Yeah, uh, it, it doesn't stop on 10 minutes on the dot. I actually have to hit the ball or something like that. Or... So I'm just going to hit the ball and hopefully it'll stop. I don't care. <laughs> we don't. It doesn't matter whether we win or lose. But yeah, we got past Snooker. So now we're past that mini game, we are going to enter another mini game. Um, right here. I get confused where to go. <laughs> so doors locked. We've been locked in. Um, they're suspicious that we've been going around the mansion, which is true. We have been. But you know, we can get out here because we got a gadget that helps us now. Uh, tech, this is okay. So this is how the game is supposed to look like. This is the game, not not just it suddenly went sideways or anything. So I have to. So I'm left-handed, and that's a really bad thing because my left hand is covering the screen that I need to see. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I I need to see um, the guards because if I get spotted, I instantly lose the mini game. Ah, this game was the inspiration for Kid Icarus Uprising. No support for lefties. <laughs> uh, um... Yeah, yep, okay. Good. Gotta uh, stop there. So you can also use this gauge by getting the caution gauge fulfilled up, but it's very unlikely that will happen. No. Go, 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 Alex! Yeah, we got past him. Man, these guards of visibility as good as the ones in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. You've been just right smack bang in the middle of those spotlights, and they're like, mm, might be something there. Not worth checking out. Alright, that's a good time actually for that mini game. Alright. Now we've done Dr. Yo, we can uh, escape the mansion. I need Alex's legs up again. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're right side up again. Thank goodness. Alright. So I'm going to get this... Oh, never mind. This is another cutscene. <laughs> and it's really pointless. Alright, thanks. <laughs> thanks for telling us what we already know. Alright, so we're going to go around this area ish yeah we get spotted I don't care <laughs> comes up as a little surprise so so we're gonna enter another cutscene uh, this is related to the overall lore of the books because we meet a character that is pretty well known so in the series so that is that guy next to um, the main villain of the game is a guy called Yasin Gregovich he's like a Russian assassin and um Apparently, his people don't like mistakes. So, don't make a mistake, everyone, otherwise, you get shot. So, yeah. So. So, Yasin is like a big part of the books. It's weird because what you do in, during those cutscenes is you can't really mash, you have to hold the button. Anyway, so this is where the map comes in handy. And also, I'm actually going to. Go into my um. <laughs> yes, you did miss the pool game. <laughs> yeah, you missed the main event, mate. You've got to check the vod. 
<laughs> anyway, so we're going to enter the mine here. We don't need to go anywhere else but just beeline straight to the mine. We don't need to fight anyone. I'm going to ignore this guy. Are you kidding me? He's just driving there. He's damn smooth. Alright. Alright. Let me in. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. So, this mine section here. Where is this leading me to? That disoriented me. So, I'm going to have to use my DS. So, I'm going to use a thing off my DS called the green screen. And that makes me invisible for 60 seconds. Can we use it now? And that. Oh, yeah. Gets yeah, that got re enabled in custom firmware on everyone's DS's, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you can use it yourself. Yeah, just put it on your R4 and you're good. Anyway. So, yeah, I only got 60 seconds to use this, so I'm just going to try and sprint as much as I can. I think I can avoid this next guy. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't see me. Oh no, I ran out of breath. Okay, cool. I think I avoid him though. That was just the most important thing. I will get spotted by this next. No, I didn't. Nice. So that helps us skip a lot of enemies. And we're able to run through here pretty quickly. Also, using that. So the unfortunate effect of using that is you have to delete your entire save file in order to reload to get another one of those uses. So <laughs> it's a bit awkward. I'm not even kidding, you have to delete your entire save file to get like another use it again. Oh. See here 007, you need a game genie to corrupt your save. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna fight um, Jason now. And uh, we found out he killed our uncle at the beginning of the game. So, unlike... So, he doesn't use his gun, surprisingly. He just kicks you. Which is probably the correct strat, considering I've been only kicking bad guys lately. Oh, he got me. Got them. So after we beat Yasin, we um we grab a virus, like a literal virus, not just a computer virus from the on bracket computers. And uh it's R it's called R5, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, so oh, five G corona. <laughs> so the plan here was um say I want to infect oh wait a minute. So here we, we're put in a um, tank full of really big jellyfishes called Man of Wars. They're not that big in, in um, real life, just, um, just FYI, but um, they're really big in this movie, just um, so they, they seem threatening. But they're really, um, they're actual real life jellyfish in Portugal that um, they're really deadly when they sting you. It's really bad. <laughs> but yeah, but these are like really big ones. I don't think they get that big in real life. So yeah, the goal of this is using your zip cream, which happens to be able to melt steel steel objects to be able to get out of this fish tank. Okay, cool. So you need to pipe enough of that zip cream in order to um, get out of here in this new game. I didn't get as far as I would like to though. That's okay. So this next one takes the longest to um, use it cream on, so I need to apply this really well. Love that he's just in the full suit the whole time he's doing this as well. Okay, good. Just in time. So I'm going to take the hit here, and it's actually faster. As your um, oxygen replenishes faster. Uh, you have um, free lives in every like mini game if um, they explicitly mention that. 
This one takes the least. Okay, cool. <laughs> that would be a bit embarrassing that if I had to refill it. Alright, so um, the lady henchman gets taken out. Uh, we don't really care too much about her. So we're going to escape the mansion as um, Sale uh, goes to a press conference and tries to um, get the Prime Minister to unleash the um, virus that's in the Stormbreaker computers by pressing this magical red button that activates the Stormbreaker computers. So uh, yeah, Alex has to get out here and reach uh, London in time. Alright. Parachutes through the roof and shoots the PM in the hand. Isn't that the London 2012 opening ceremony? <laughs> and wow, spoilers. <laughs> anyway, we're fighting Andy Circus now. He actually uses his weapon, unlike um, the assassin that we fought before. That was bad timing, because I'm going to get hit. Yep. Not too bad of a fight, though. Anyway, so I'm... I can't talk. So I, I'm going to blow into the DS mic. I reveal that Phoenix Ride evidence. Uh, the DS version of Bungayo actually transmits map data using the microphone function. That's a fun fact. If you wanted to send stuff to your friends, you would actually just record the sound the DS made and then play it to a friend's DS through the microphone. But yeah, okay, so the only way I can move forward was to blow into the DS mic. <laughs> so I hope that didn't sound too obnoxious. Anyway, so, um, so we saved the Prime Minister um, and uh, Britain, and, but Sal has a backup plan because he, he's actually kind of smart. So we have to reach, oh, um, unlike me, I didn't jump. But yeah, so now we're riding on um, our love interest's horse. Uh, her name's Sabina Pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding, that's her name. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's the one traditional, right? So, um... Shoutouts to Ocarina of Time here. Coming up, there is a donation incentive for the naming link. Yeah, we're riding a horse, but we only need to hold the A button to um, get these inputs, which is really nice. We now have to mash. Oh, I need to see. Anyway, we made it. Uh, that wasn't particularly good because I bumped into something, but it's okay. So, we're in the final level of the game, but this is kind of, level is kind of long. So, the first thing that we do is we take out a um, security guard. Now, in the movie, the security guard is kind of... Um, he gets kicked in the balls twice by both Sabina and Alex. <laughs> so, he isn't much of a challenge in the movie, but in the game, he actually kind of is. He he, pick, he puts up a fight. Oh, let go block at the wrong time. Alright. My kicker level is pretty high and everything. 
if I get lucky here. Yes, nice. I got the speed up. Unfortunately, I get spotted by this dude who is gonna slow me down, and if I don't kill him, oh, sorry, not kill him, beat him, he's gonna, um, yeah, he's gonna make me get a game over. And I had to start from the last checkpoint. Sorry about that. Oh, I haven't got a surprise, a single surprise this run, that's disappointing. And my speed buff ran out too, which is a shame. But that's kind of expected. You only get it for like 30 seconds, so you have to kind of make the most of it. chance to get a speed boost. Unfortunately we didn't get it but getting, making our kick stronger is also pretty nice. I haven't thrown a single punch yet by the way. Is there any ever any reason on any difficulty to? Uh yes there is. Actually um there's a reason to be coming up soon. Oh I got a surprise finally that wasn't much of a surprise though since he actually stared at me but Good enough. <laughs> but yeah, uh, surprise automatically allows you to um, defeat an enemy in um, in free kicks. It's really nice, especially against like really tanky enemies. Of course, you can't do it on bosses, but. <laughs> we have $50 from Jake. Hi from Colt Tracks Records and OST on Radio Northern Beaches. Keep up the great work and put this towards dog ending in Silent Hill 2. Dog is love. Yes. Finally, someone... A user of culture here. <laughs> dog ending is the best ending in Silent Hill 2. Yes, I've heard. Who wants to learn anything from all the symbolism and introspection that I get? Nope. Dog. Dog at control desk. I need to be careful here. Um, Seminar's a bit low and I don't want to, I don't want the bar to have to refill all the way up. <laughs> Alright, cool, we got another surprise. And a low up, that's excellent. Just one more for the go and then uh, get the final boss fight, I think, if I remember correctly. I haven't played this game too much recently. It's not a hard game to pick up speed run speed run wise, it's just there's there's some like hard things like the um, subway trailing minigame with Jimmy Carr. <laughs> ah, shame, I think it's speed up. You collect this last key, elevator key card, and then you're gonna face the final boss, which um, you can probably guess who it is. Um, it's Daria Sale. But yeah, we'll be, we will actually be using punches against him. So yeah, we just uh, ruined his backup plan, and he's mad. So. He, he will actually shoot at us, and uh, punches are used to help us uh, line up kicks. Because Alex just whiffies, whiffs his kicks on the final boss. Oh my god, he, he is destroying me.
Man, those are the knockout punches he hit Chris Jericho with at the WrestleMania. <laughs> Alright, got them. Uh, it's not time yet. Time is after this next cutscene. So, <laughs> I could just explain the plot though. But yeah, so... So, Sale is uh, almost defeated, but he um, gets reinforcements in terms of um, Yasin. In case you go about the assassin guy. There he is in his helicopter. And then he gets shot off the building. So when's time, sorry? Uh, time's coming up really soon, it's like at the end of this cutscene. So, um, yeah, Yasin killed him because he's in embarrassment for, um, people he works for, which happens to be Scorpia. That's a real good idol pose. <laughs> this guy rules. Alright. Got that Sonic Adventure Bob. He just waddles towards the camera, Alexa's, and time. Alright, so the funniest thing about this ending cutscene here is this, there's a kid that stares right into the camera. <laughs> On um, Sabina's left, um, sorry, right. Kind of funny. <laughs> you know that headphones guy? That guy's cool. <laughs> yeah, he's just staring into the camera. But yeah, so um, yeah, they had to sign a secret thing to say that they went bold or stuff, stuff like that. And um, Alex just says, "Oh, I'm not gonna be a spy again." But we we all know what happens in um, next novel and. Subsequent, like, how many novels has there been? Like, 12? <laughs> That's only yeah. a fifth of the number of Animorphs books. Yeah, um, yeah, the author still writes, um, these books, actually. It's kind of amazing, and obviously there's a new Alex Ryder series that has, um, come out, and it's actually really good if you want to watch it compared to this movie. Um, if you want to watch the new Alex Ryder, there's, um... Yeah, it's on Amazon Prime, I believe. I... So, yeah. And it came out last year. Uh, this... <laughs> yeah. Although, if you do want to watch the movie, this movie, I think it's only available... Like, you have to like grab a DVD. I'm not sure what, if any streaming site would have this movie. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, this the speed run's pretty easy to pick up. It's um, yeah, and it's kind of silly in its own way, especially with the ten minutes of snooker. But yeah, I'm, yeah. Just trying to, I'm actually watching these credits because the first few names are all Japanese developers. Oh, uh, so I'm like, wait, who actually made this game? <laughs> Was this THQ just publishing? <laughs> And just some there, weird there might, chain of outsourcing? There might be. My, I have a, I have my Alex Ryder box somewhere. <laughs> yep, 10 minutes of snooker you missed out on. For better or for worse. <laughs> Alrighty. We're gonna keep going through. How much longer have we got on these credits? Oh, we we don't need to sit through them. I mean, if if the next run is ready, then yeah, it's looking like they're ready. So thank you very much, Aeon Frodo, for this run. Yeah, no this problem. Was... <laughs> it's fun experience. This, this, this is what I crave in my speedrun marathons. <laughs> this sort of game. <laughs> yeah, it... true art. Yes, coming up next we have Grand Theft Auto V. J.K. Sessions will be taking over the hosting. Uh, this has been Hans Pidgey Stockman. Thank you for watching and take it away, music team. <laughs>